Historically, there is a long-standing debate regarding whether or not psychology is a genuine science. Nowadays, psychology generally is seen as being a science because if it wasn't a science, it wouldn't be seen as a valid or reliable subject. Some of the arguments for psychology being a science include the following. It is a research-based subject with a science-based investigation approach at its core. Psychology uses the scientific method in its investigations. It is carried out through genuine experimentation, which includes the manipulation of the independent variables. Like other sciences, psychology has theories, which generate hypotheses, and these are tested empirically, so that the theories can be tested and refined. Some of the arguments against psychology being a science include the following. Psychology's subject matter is humans. They can't be investigated in the same way as the subject matter of, say, chemistry or physics, because people are often aware that they're being investigated and interacting with a researcher, which can alter their behaviour through demand characteristics. Much of what psychology is interested in, the mind, motivation, emotion and so on, is not yet open to genuine scientific and empirical research because it is not actually observable. Psychologists only guess or infer what is happening, rather than collecting direct empirical data. There is no single, unifying theory or framework in psychology, as there often are in other sciences. This may be because psychology is a relatively young subject and is still in the state of pre-science. Arguably, much of the material which is labelled as psychology is clearly not science. For example, humanism and Freudian theories. What are some of the strengths and limitations of psychology as a science? One of the strengths is that psychological research is often highly controlled, so that the independent variable can be isolated, meaning there are no extraneous variables which allows us to measure the independent variable's effect on the dependent variable. This makes it highly valid because we are measuring what we are actually supposed to be measuring and not any extraneous variables. This is called testing cause and effect. Another strength is that it is reliable because standardised procedures are commonly used with high levels of control which therefore makes them more replicable. A further strength is that psychology is often objective as it does not take into account any subjective opinions of people and only looks at facts. It also produces quantitative data which is easy to analyse and compare providing straightforward conclusions. One weakness of psychological research is the fact that it is often highly controlled means that the situation will be artificial and therefore will not reflect a person's normal environment, hence it would be low in ecological validity. We therefore have to be careful about applying results to real life because there could be demand characteristics or social desirability bias. Another weakness is that it could be regarded as reductionist and deterministic because it assumes that everyone's behaviour follows the same patterns and simplifies complex human behaviour down to very small factors rather than looking at wider context. Moreover, it is often the case that no qualitative data is collected when using scientific methods and therefore we do not obtain reasons for people's behaviour or obtain people's opinions, which can make it harder to understand cause and effect.